how to use um, the Zach sock screener. So the first thing that I did was um, just come to Zach's.com and you're going to either click up here in the tab where it says screening and you can also find it on the left here under top Zach's features under stock screener. Okay, so once you click that, you're going to come up with your screener and there's going to be a lot of different options that you can choose from. So, I mean, you'll kind of want to have an idea of what what items you want to screen for. Otherwise, um, it might get a little overwhelming. So some of the top things that um, people screen for are here in the popular criteria. Um, for example, you may want a company with a market cap that is greater than or equal to Uh, 100,000 and I think that's in let's see oh, that's in millions so so 100,000 and put it in the box um, would be calculated in millions and you can just hover over this little question mark here and it'll actually give you the um, the details of that okay some of these features are premium features like the Zacks rank the Zacks industry rank and the Zacks recommendation um, but um, anything else is just uh, something that you can get for free through this free stock screener. So once you've gone through and you've typed in all of your numbers, you know, you've clicked through here, maybe you want to do earnings per share growth and added those. Um, you're going to click add. So let's say, let's say I want to stock with a dividend yield that's greater than, I don't know, 7%. So you're going to put in the number seven because percent is already implied. Okay. And I'm going to add that. Okay. Once you add an item, it's going to be under here, under your, my criteria. And it'll even tell you that 136 stocks have a dividend yield of greater than 7%. So let's say if that's all the criteria that you want, then you can go ahead and run the screen and it'll give you all of the uh, company names that come up. Okay, there's several uh, different companies. Some of them are um, ETFs. Some of them are, um, you know, just regular equities. Um, so you'll go down and you'll see all of them. And let's say you wanted to um, see which one has the highest dividend yield. You can click here in the heading dividend yield, and it'll show you that um, the stocks that have the highest dividend yield. Now be careful when you're looking at dividend yield. You don't want to look at it just by itself. You also want to look at um, several other um, criteria along with it. Um, the reason I use dividend yield in this example is just to show a simple example of how to add a criteria in your stock screener. And that is the end of our tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, make sure to contact us at www.fsyaonline.com. Thank you so much.